Yeah, yeah class, this is a continuation of uh, sex hormones, so we just cover uh, the female sex hormone, estrogen, uh, progesterone, and uh, oral contraceptive, so we'll continue with oral contraceptive and then get into uh, male sex hormone. To uh, say that there are uh, different classes of contraceptives, and uh, they are uh, followed as monophasic or triphasic and transdermal pass, vaginal ring, injectable progestin, progestin implants, um, and progestin intrauterine uh, device. This I show the contraceptive uh, effectiveness uh, in terms of um, preventing uh, pregnancy. So the mechanism of action for this hormonal uh, contraceptive is not completely understood. It is likely that the combination of estrogen and progesterone are bestowed over an approximately three weeks period inhibits ovulation. The estrogen provides a negative feedback on the release of uh, LH and FSH by the pituitary, thus preventing ovulation. The progestin also inhibit uh, LH release and thickens the cervical mucus, thus hampering the transport of sperm. Withdrawal of progestin stimulates menstrual bleeding during the placebo uh, week. Most of those effects are believed to be due to uh, the estrogen component, but cardiovascular effects reflect the action of both estrogen and progestin. The incidence of adverse effect with oral contraceptives is relatively low and is determined by specific compound and combinations used. The major adverse effects are breast fullness, depression, fluid retention, headache, nausea, and vomiting. Cardiovascular side effect, although rare, the most serious adverse effect of oral contraceptive uh, is cardiovascular disease including thromboembolism, thrombophlebitis, hypertension, increased incidence of myocardial infarction, and cerebral or coronary thrombosis. Androgen. The androgen are a group of steroids that have anabolic and are muscularizing effects in both males and females. Testosterone, the most important androgen in humans, is synthesized by Leydig cells in the testes and in smaller amount by fecal cells in the ovary of the female and by adrenal glands in both sexes. In adult males, testosterone secretion by Leydig cells is controlled by gonadotropin releasing hormone from the thalamus which stimulates the anterior pituitary gland to secrete FSH and LH. Luteinizing hormones stimulate the steroidogenesis in the Leydig cells, whereas a follicle stimulating hormone is necessary for a spermatogenesis. Testosterone, uh, its active metabolite DHT, inhibit production of this specific trophic hormone through a negative feedback loop and thus regulate testosterone uh, production. The androgen are required for 1. Normal maturation in the male 2. Sperm production 3. Increased synthesis of muscle protein and hemoglobin and 4. Decreased bone resorption Like the estrogen and progestin, androgen bind to a specific nuclear receptor in target cells. Although testosterone itself is the active ligand in muscle and liver, in other tissue, it must be uh, metabolized to derivatives such as dihydrotestosterone, uh, DHT. Androgenic steroids are used for males with inadequate androgen secretion. Anabolic steroids can be used to treat senile osteoporosis and chronic wasting associated with human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, or cancer. Danazole, a mild androgen, is used in the treatment of endometriosis, ectopic growth of the endometri endometrium, and fibrocystic uh, breast tissue. 
and a proof use uh, anabolic steroids are used to increase lean body mass, muscle strength, and endurance in athletes and bodybuilders. Adverse effects. In female, androgen can cause masculinization, acne, growth of facial hair, deepening of voice, male pattern boldness, and excessive muscle development, which stunts growth and interrupt development. High doses taken by young athletes may result in reduction of testicular size, hepatic abnormalities, increased aggression like roid rage, major mood disorders. Anti-androgen counter male hormone action by interfering with synthesis of androgen or by blocking their receptor. For example, at high doses, the antifungal drug ketoconazole inhibits several of the CYP450 enzyme involved in steroid synthesis. Finasteride and dutasteride agent used for treatment of benign prostatic hypertrophy inhibit 5-alpha reductase. The resulting disease in formation of uh, dihydrotestosterone in the prostate uh, leads to a reduction in prostate size. Antiandrogens such as flutamide act as competitive inhibitor of androgen at the target cells. Flutamide is used in treatment of prostatic carcinoma in males. Two other potent antiandrogen by carlutamide and nilutamide are effective orally for treatment of prostate uh, cancer. Here's a slide showing uh, benign prostatic hypertrophy management. You can use 5-alpha reductase inhibitor like finasteride uh, and alpha-1 adrenergic antagonists like the zosin, like doxazosin. Tamulosin, uh, most effective is combination of the 5-alpha reductase inhibitor and the alpha-1 adrenergic antagonist.